Oh, the strawberry. A humble yet surprisingly sweet and delectable fruit. And so much more fun to play with than to wear or eat or wear when you eat. Anyway, I made a little bean bag toy and you can stuff it with beans or fiber fill or whatever you want. You can wear it in your hair. You can wear it on your blouse. You can make an entire pile of them and carry them around in a basket. Whatever you want. It's super cute. So let's super get into it. <laughs> okay, so this is the strawberry. Uh, we're going to make it in two parts. There's the sleepy bit on the top that uh, we put on afterwards and the strawberry body which is made entirely in one piece and before we cinch it shut at the top we embroider all of these little sort of seeds into it and uh, then we cinch it shut, we stuff it full of beans, we make the leafy top, we sew the leafy top down and uh, poof, you have a strawberry. Okay, you're going to need nice strawberry red yarn you're going to need uh, a wool. I used a yellow crochet wool. Um, it's just sort of something I had in my stash for the seeds. It's this nice, thin, probably what I'd consider a, a two on the yarn size scale. Um, just It's about half the size of the worst weight yarn that I'm using. And this lovely green. It's a leafy, nice bright leafy green. It's not technically a strawberry leafy green, but I think I want my strawberry to look a little more playful and uh, surreal than actually real. You're going to need beans to stuff your bean bag toy. You're going to need a good pair of scissors, your yarn needle, and a crochet hook that will get you the gauge that you require. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter or a G6. And those of you who follow me will know that this is my absolute favorite hook. So, first thing we do is we take our yarn and we make a magic circle. And by a magic circle, I mean uh, you create a loop, take your hook, go through that loop, grab the yarn, pull it back through the loop, wrap the yarn around your hook, and pull it through that little hole. And that right there is a magic circle, or a cinch circle. And we call it a cinch circle because you cinch it shut. And I'm going to make mine a little smaller because into it I'm going to be single crocheting six. And single crochet is hook goes through the hole or the stitch you're working in, but we're working the hole right now. You wrap your yarn or grab the yarn pull it back up through the hole, you have two loops on your hook, you wrap the yarn around your hook, and pull it through both loops. And try not to let it slip off your hook. That's a single crochet. We're going to go ahead and put five more into this circle. And if your circle is a little too awkward to work with, go ahead and cinch it shut or make it a bit smaller. Um, normally I make things pretty small because I know exactly how big they have to be but I'm doing this for demonstrative purposes. I've made my six single crochet, and I'm going to cinch my circle shut, and we're going to single crochet two into the next stitch, which is this one right here, and then a single crochet into the next. So the pattern is two, one, two, one, all the way around. So I'm going to work over my tail, just so I keep it nice and tight. That's two singles. One. Two singles. One. Two singles. And one. And that gives us nine. So we've gone from six to nine. Now we're into row three. The pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. That gives us twelve. 
So into the next stitch, you're going to do two single crochets. And then one. And then one. Two single crochets. One. One. Two single crochets. One. One. Now, if you haven't caught on already, the pattern is sets of three, sets of three, sets of three, all the way around. Because in investments, we're kind of creating a fat triangle. And I'm sure you can see the, the triangle shape of that strawberry. Um, it definitely has sort of a, maybe if I do that, it's sort of a, a, a fat round triangle. So everything is done in uh, sets of three. So that was the third row that we just completed. And I'm just taking off my sweater here. All right, we're into row four. We are moving from 12 stitches to 15 stitches. The pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. Here we go. One, two stitches in the first stitch. Single, single, single. Two single crochets in the next stitch. Single, single, single. Two single crochets in the next stitch. Single, single, single. That's 15. That's the end of row four. Now we're into row five. We are moving from 15 stitches to 18 stitches. The pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around to make 18. So we go two single crochets into the first stitch, and then one, two, three, four, two singles into the next stitch, one, two, three, four, two singles into the next stitch, one, Two, three, four. That's the end of row five. We have a total of 18 stitches all the way around. Row six, we're moving from 18 stitches to 21. The pattern is two single crochet into the next stitch, and then single five into the next five. So two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. So here we go. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, One, two, three, four, five, and the last set. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's a total of 21 stitches. That was the end of row six. Now we're into row seven. We're going to go from 21 stitches to 24 stitches. The pattern is two single crochet into the next stitch, and then a single crochet into the next six stitches. Here we go. One, two. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one, oops, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 24 stitches all the way around. That was the end of row seven. Now we're gonna to go to row eight. We're moving from 24 stitches to 27. The pattern is two single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next seven stitches. Repeat all the way around until you have 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So technically, if you haven't caught on, um, we're increasing by one stitch in the pattern every single time. So for example, that was two plus seven equals nine. One, two stitches, and then into the next seven equals nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two stitches. This is the last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can see that this is really starting to look like the bottom of the strawberry. This is our last row of increase. This is row nine. We're going to go from 27 to 30 stitches. So this is three sets of ten, two single crochet into the next stitch, and then eight into the next, or single crochet into the next eight stitches, that equals ten, so three sets of ten. There we go. One, two, one, two, three, nine, ten, last set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's it for the increasing. Now we're going to do three straight rows of just single crochet in each, each stitch around. This is what's going to make it kind of the, the top part. Uh, so just start crocheting. Uh, if you're just counting um, around and around and around, count up to 90. And uh, once you're done with that, I'll uh, see you on the other side of three rows. <laughs> Okay, so we've completed our three rounds of just straight single crochet, and we now have the better part of a rather chubby strawberry. And now, this is where we start to decrease, and we're going to decrease for several, I guess about three rows, um, before we slip stitch around to close it off, but before we slip stitch around, we're going to stuff it full of beans. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, travel backwards from 30 stitches to either 21 or 22. Now I say 21 or 22 because depending on um, how you single crochet two together around, um, you will either end up with 21 or 22 uh, because you could single crochet two together, single crochet into the next two, and end with a single crochet two together, or end with just a, a single crochet into the next two. Because we're going around and around in a circle and we're just tightening up, it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, so just bear with me and we'll get through the first row and then the rest of it will make sense. So single crochet two together, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, 
and then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook, then you wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through all three, and you've single crocheted two together, that's your first decrease stitch. And then you're just going to single crochet once into each of the next two, and then you're going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet once into the next two stitches, and you're going to do this pattern all the way around. And you want to keep track of what you're doing. Um, it's kind of obvious where you've been decreasing as you go around because you can see the top starting to sort of cinch in on itself. And it uh, doesn't matter if you accidentally do this pattern like a couple too many or if you um, just do this for two rows. You want to try and make the decrease as even as possible. Uh, but after you get good at crocheting, you can see, uh, you can recognize stitches that you've made sort of in the, your row previous. So for example, you'll know what two stitches single crochet, like the two stitches stitched together will look like. And like for example, I can see that I, this is where I started, right here. Because, I don't know if I can make it so that it's not as hard to see. But the two stitches that are stitched together, one, the first one kind of overlaps the next one a little bit. So I know that I've come back to my beginning. And I'm going to finish with a single crochet two together. Now that puts me down at 21. And then into the next row, excuse me, I'm going to single crochet two together, and then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch, and I'm going to repeat that around until I have 14. Obviously, this is starting to look more and more and more like a piece of fruit. At this point, you might find it valuable to uh, make a big loop on your hook, put your hook down, put your strawberry down, grab your seed color, and cut a nice long length, I'm going to say maybe almost two feet, snip it off, grab your yarn hook, or your yarn needle, I should say. I'm always calling this thing a hook. Thread it up and just start anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to leave a tail. Uh, not a super long one, but just enough that I can kind of keep a bead on it. Uh, and then when I'm finished, I'm going to tie the ends together and just stuff them down into the strawberry. So I'm going to just leave about that much tail. I've come out anywhere I want. I'm just going to insert my hook at either a, a down right or a down left angle into the very next stitch below. And that'll be one of my seeds. And then I'm going to go around in a circle. And I'm just going to stagger them. Make sure you keep your other yarn out of the way. Just going to stagger them in a sort of random pattern. Oop, did it again. Get out of there, you. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around and then down to the bottom until I've put as many seeds on as I want on my chubby little strawberry. Okay, so I finished putting all my little seeds on with my little yarn needle and I've got my two ends here on the inside and I'm going to knot them together so I can sort of semi-turn this inside out and 
and uh, Just tie it tightly enough in a knot that it won't come undone, but not so much that, you know, there you go away. Not so much that um, it's going to pull it out of alignment. So there you go. That looks like a strawberry. Now we're going to do one more row of decrease. So we're going to put our hooks back in our little loops. And this is single crochet two together all the way around. That leaves you uh, with roughly seven stitches. And if you don't have exactly seven, don't worry about it. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Okay, again, I'm gonna make a nice big loop, pull my hook out. Now, I'm gonna stuff the strawberry with, with the beans. So, grab our big old bag of beans, and uh, it's good to try and do this on a surface where it's not all gonna roll away. I like to actually stuff smaller bean projects in the actual bag that the beans are in, so that I can be a little messy with my stuffing habits. We're gonna slip stitch it shut and don't worry if you feel like you can't slip stitch it shut and keep all the beans in at the same time because just before you slip stitch it shut for good you can stuff a few more beans in so as in other projects i've done we're going to slip stitch through the posts of the previous row so not the actual stitch it's the post of the stitches from the previous row and that essentially cinches two together Oh, look, see, one escaped. And I think another one's trying to, too. Oh, a couple of them did. Come back here. Okay. Let's stuff that in there. I'm definitely going to add a few more beans just before I cinch this shut for good. Take your time here. This doesn't have to be super quick. It's a bit dicey, a little tricky, since you're trying to stuff beans into a hole and keep them there. Okay, nearing the end of my hole, I can stuff, I don't know if you can see this, this little hole here, I'm going to stuff a few more beads one at a time into it. feels pretty good. All right, a few more single crochet, or a few more slip stitches, I should say, through the posts around. Oh, look at you trying to skip. Get in there. He is just determined to leave. Get in there. No. Have to stay. Not allowed to. Okay, I've exhausted my regular posts, so I'm just going to slip stitch one more and off. I'm going to snip a longish tail, maybe eight inches or so. Fasten off. And <laughs> I love that sound. Before I completely finish it, so you see I've got this little hole and there's a bean sticking out. I'm going to grab my yarn needle, thread my tail into it, and I'm going to weave through the stitches and anywhere I see a bit of a hole, I'm going to weave this tail 
and I'm going to cinch shut any little holes that I think might be in danger of letting a bean slip through in the future, especially if I've got little people playing with them. And uh, this is just a good way to weave in your tail and make sure your work looks nice. That's another thing too, you can kind of shape the top of your work or whatever you happen to be finishing off. You can you can add to the shape of it by using your tail to sort of pull it this way and that. You'll notice that it's already starting to cinch shut. You can't see the bean coming out of the middle anymore. And I'm just going to do a few more loops around the middle. And I might just go down a couple more rows. Once I'm satisfied that there are no immediate dangers of escaping beans, and remember, we're still we still have the leafy green bit to put on the top of this, which is also going to help close up the holes. I'm going to uh, pick a spot right here, I think, to uh, knot my yarn off. There we go. Weave in a few more. And then just bury it. <laughs> and uh, let's make that little tail disappear. All right. Now tell me that doesn't look like a strawberry good enough to eat. Let's put a little leafy green on it now, shall we? So we'll put that aside. Get rid of our beans. Gonna grab our pretty leafy green thread. Grab our hook. We'll keep our strawberry there for for incentive. <laughs> now, this is a bit bizarre. Um, you can make this any shape you want. If you follow these directions that I'm about to do and you find that it's not big enough or you wanted something a little more leafy or you want more leaves, whatever you want, the basic concept of it lends itself to any size topper. Um, so once you get the pattern down, once you sort of get an understanding of, of, of how it works, you can essentially use it to uh, make a leafy top any size you want, any number of petals you want. You'll probably recognize a lot of this if you followed my mini star tutorial. You'll recognize that this is very similar to the mini star. Um, and it also makes nice flowers too. So we're going to start with a cinch circle. And we did that before at the beginning. And into that cinch circle, we're going to chain. I'm sorry, we're going to. Uh, oh, you know what? We're not going to do a cinch circle. <laughs> I'm getting all excited here. We're going to. Um, no, we are going to do a cinch circle. Never mind. Cinch circle. Into the cinch circle. We're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, and five. Cinch circle shut. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to work over my tail. Now, like the star, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. We're going to slip stitch into the next chain. And we're going to single crochet into each of the next two. That brings us back to the circle. We're going to slip stitch into the next chain along the circle. And then we're going to repeat. And you're going to do this all the way around. So chain five, slip stitch into the first two, 
single crochet into the next two. Single crochet into the next, or sorry, slip stitch into the next one on the circle and repeat. Okay, I'm just getting to the end of my fifth little petal or leaf here. To close off, we're just going to insert into the first slip stitch, slip stitch into that. And you notice you have this nice gnarly looking starish thing. You're going to cut quite a long tail, so maybe two, even three feet worth. You're going to fasten off. Right, so cute. You're going to grab your yarn needle. You're going to thread it. And you're going to take your strawberry and you're going to place your leafy top on the strawberry. Get a kind of a look for how it lies. I like to line my centers up exactly, uh, but you don't have to do that. Then you just sew it down. Now you can sew all the way around each leaf so that it's completely plastered to the top of your strawberry if you like, or you can do uh, like what I did here where I just sort of sewed around the very base of the, the round part of the leafy thing. and. Uh, when you get around the end uh, and you like try, that's just one of the reasons I ask you to make a long tail is because you want to have enough to sew down your green top and also have enough to create this little thing at the top at the end. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, um, but I think it finishes it nicely. So you pair your leafy top with the top of your strawberry and just pick up some of the stitches just underneath the leafy green bit on the strawberry. Right this little one. And then just sew it down. So a couple of stitches in the strawberry, a couple of stitches on the leafy green, a couple of stitches on the strawberry, a couple of stitches on the leafy green. And so on, and so on, and so on. Alright, and once you get back around to the beginning, you're going to finish off the last stitch here. Now, you've got a nice long green thread left, I hope, and you're going to Take your needle and insert like you were just going to put in another regular stitch, but go through the entire strawberry to the top and come out the middle of your leafy green bit. Just like that. You take your needle off your thread. Now this is the totally optional part. It requires a little bit of uh, dexterous fingers. But the end result is this cute little top knot bit. So you take your hook and you're going to crochet using this extra thread. So you're going to pick a couple of stitches on the top of your strawberry and just insert your hook into them. Like I say, it takes a little bit of dexterity. There you go. And you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, you can chain maybe an extra one if you want. I might just do that. And you're going to slip stitch all the way back down to the top of the strawberry. And it's tricky because it's a heavy little strawberry. There we go. Okay. 
once you get back down to the bottom of your strawberry, so you've gone all the way uh, up to the top of this thing and you've, cut, you've single, you slip stitch back down, you're going to pick the opposite side of the top of the leafy bit where you created your first chain, dig your hook in there, and you're going to slip stitch like that and then fasten off and pull that nice and tight and there you go you've got like a little stem now grab your yarn needle re-thread that yarn and just weave it in a few places knot it up and then bury the tail and once again this is a good opportunity to maybe cinch up any little holes that may have appeared while you were sewing or while you were doing extra stitches or extra chains or whatever and you can just make it nice and solid green you can even get a few more stitches sort of securing it to the top of the strawberry there if you want and once you are satisfied that your strawberry is like super adorable and totally finished just pick a little place to turn a turn a knot in make sure it's nice and tight what are they doing here? I'll just bury it I will just bury it there we go. And into the strawberry. Now this is quite a long tail, so I may not bury all of it in here. Oh, I love the sound of those beans. I love the sound of those beans. Just a little bit more. And there you have it. Another strawberry. Oh, these are just so cute. Yum, 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 yum. Now, you can stuff them with polyester fiber fill and make them lighter and wear them in your hair um, or use them as some other kind of decoration. They can be cute, used in conjunction uh, with other toys, like if you crocheted somebody a bunny and they were holding a little strawberry. Or if you gave someone a, a pre-made stuffed toy, this is a lovely little addition um, to go along with it. It's sort of like getting two toys for one. Okay, I think these are super cute. And I think number two turned out even better than number one, but that's just my humble opinion. Uh, it just tells me that I need to make even more and fill a basket or a shelf or possibly sneak them onto the chairs at work. So somebody thinks they sound like a big fat strawberry. <laughs> I hope you liked this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything specific you want to see. Maybe something else in the way of fruit. Um, also, if you like this strawberry and you don't want to make your own, leave me a message and I'll invite you to check out my Etsy shop. I will be posting the odd little pattern and bits and pieces soon. And uh, I invite you to come for a visit and see what else I do. I get up to. <laughs> we will see you very shortly uh, with another tutorial and possibly another vlog asking you to um, help me pick what I'm going to make next. So until then, happy strawberry hunting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Next.